So here we have y equals 2x plus 1, and they tell us that this is a linear function. This is just a straight line, and there's three questions. We want the slope, the y-intercept, and the graph. So we're basically going to use these things to do the graph. Okay, so first realize that this is already in the form y equals mx plus b. Okay, that's the form it has. Uh, this is called the slope-intercept form because m is equal to 2. That's our slope. So our slope is m equals 2. This is the slope. The y-intercept is b, so that's 1. So the y-intercept is equal to 1. Now, um, sometimes a better way to write it uh, might be to write it as an ordered pair. So when you write it as an ordered pair, just remember y is equal to 1. Okay. So if y is equal to 1, the x is 0. So the y-intercept is 0, 1. Okay, if that's the y-intercept. Both are probably acceptable. I guess it depends what you're doing this for. And now we have to do the graph. So let's do it. So I'll do my best. I don't have you know, graph paper. <laughs> so there's the y-axis. And um, there's the x-axis. So here's x. And here's y. Okay. And we'll start at the y-intercept. So 0, comma 1. So when x is 0, y is 1, so we're here. And now we're going to use the slope, okay? So the way we're going to do it is we're going to think of the slope like this. m is equal to 2, which is 2 over 1. And remember, slope is rise over run. So we're going to use this to graph it. So we're going to rise 2 and run 1. So 1, 2, and then run. So rise 2, run 1, boom. So from the y-intercept, we rise once, twice, and then we go right one. So up two, right one, because they're both positive. So you rise up, and you run to the right, because it's positive. So up two, right one, connect the dots, and then just make a line and extend it, and that's it. That's it. So I hope this video has been helpful to someone who's trying to uh, learn this stuff. Good luck.